Tonight we are back at the villages and over there is Naldo's Mexican restaurant. Mm -hmm. We did have several say to eat here, so I'm looking forward to it. I believe it's, yes, it's right next door to the Beef O'Brady's we went to and filmed. I didn't realize that till just now. Mm -hmm. But looking forward to Naldo's, like I said, a lot of people saying it's very good. Let's go check it out. Naldo's Mexican Kitchen. There's Beef O'Brady's. Looks like they still are very festive. They've got Christmas tree up in there. What does it say? This is kind of an awkward spot because people can see it. What's the hours say right there? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 11 to 10, Friday, 11 to 10, Saturday, 11 to 10, Sunday, 11 to 9. And then right over here, though, is all their outdoor seating. And then as we come in, this is what it's going to look like on the inside. And it looks very busy in here. You can see there's the tree. The restrooms are straight back there. Here is the menu. We've got the drinks menu. Blueberry margarita, pineapple, watermelon, berry, berry. I'm not sure if they have any specials or whatnot. There's some beer. There's some other margaritas over here. A lot of margarita choices. Down here we've got some drinks. The horchata, I know some people mentioned to get. We've actually gotten it before. Love it. Very good. Here is the menu. So they do have some pictures in here. Dips. We did get a queso dip already. There's salads, appetizers. Sorry, there's a glare on the menu. There we go. Vegetarian, nachos. And the next page. This is a very large menu here. Fajitas. Create your own combo. Ooh. I like that. Chicken and steak. And then over here we have seafood favorites. A bacon double cheeseburger is a favorite. Keep going down. Desserts. Kids menu. And if we turn, this is going to be the lunch menu, which is Monday to Friday, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And then I think that's it. So that's a really good menu. I like it a lot. There's also a bar down there at the very end where the restrooms, like by the restrooms. But again, this is what it looks like on the inside. So they already brought the queso dip and it looks really good. There's the salsa, there's the chips. And so far we just got some waters, but I noticed that other people have some margaritas and they look really good. So we'll see if maybe we want to get a margarita or whatnot. But again, the queso looks really good. They do have a good selection of frozen margarita um, flavors. Raspberry sounds pretty good. I might do a small raspberry frozen margarita. As far as food goes, I'm not sure what we're looking at getting here. I always, like I do in all the videos, like trying just a, a plain cheese quesadilla, but I don't know if they have like an a la carte option. I don't really see one, so I don't know if I'll get to try that or not. I'm not sure what we're gonna do. So we might switch it up and get something that we normally don't ever do. I don't know what that would be. But comment below on what your go-to is at a Mexican restaurant. Like, what is your go-to? We usually do fajitas for the most part. Oh, yeah. A rose con pollo we do as well. But, yeah, comment below and let us know what you like to get. As far as the thickness... That's how thick the cheese dip is, so let's give it a try. Cheese dip. That is really tasty, queso dip. 
That is really good. I'll give that a thumbs up. So due to the fact that it's hard to find, you know, gluten sensitive stuff at a Mexican restaurant, a lot of these come in a tortilla. So we're thinking about going back to yeah true not, not yeah so i think we misspoke earlier we're gonna go back to our good trusty fajitas the chicken fajitas and share it so a few things we went with the chicken fajitas like i said that's just the easiest because i can eat the tortillas and then you can eat just all the other goodness and i went with a raspberry small raspberry frozen margarita just to try it and then I also ask, and they do have just a regular cheese quesadilla. I don't know what the price is, but again, since we try, try it at every Mexican restaurant, I wanted to try it here. How's the cheese dip? I have not tried the salsa yet. Mm. I don't know. I'll try another bite. About the salsa? Spicy. Was it cheese spicy? The cheese wasn't spicy. Salsa spicy? Let's give it a try. I, I, I would not do that much. Oh, that, that's too much? I, I did this. Oh. Well, hopefully this isn't too spicy. Um, it definitely has some spice to it. Yeah, there's something a little spicy in that salsa. I will say though, it's got a good flavor. Really good flavor. Here is the small raspberry frozen margarita. And honestly, that's a good size. So like compare it to $6.99, I think. No, I need to ask if they have any margarita specials. I didn't ask or if they have like a happy hour or something, but that's a pretty good size. Let's give this a try. That is a very good margarita. That is a good margarita. It's interesting because it's like really fru fruity. It's not super not strong. To, we don't usually get these. Drinks. No, yeah. Like a it is like a yeah. There you go. It's like a smoothie, a smoothie margarita. Here is the food so far. That's been the best presentation for a cheese quesadilla yet, and that looks nice. We have the tortillas there, all the goodness there, and then the fajitas. Smells good. Let's dig in. Let's try the cheese quesadilla. That's a tasty cheese quesadilla. I'm curious to see what the price is because that's going to be the deciding factor on it. if it's worth it or not. The taste is good. So, depend on price. Whoa, what did you just do? Small house margarita on the rocks with salt. Wow. Living it up tonight a little bit, huh? Here is the regular margarita. So, that's an interesting color. It's almost more of like a yellowish gold. Curious to see what it tastes like. Trying the drink for the first time. Decent? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Probably not as good as my milk or my smoothie, right? I prefer this though. I don't. There's fun fact. Huh. <laughs> Alex likes the. You can say it, the feminine fruity drinks. Yeah. And then I like the more. Manly, strong. I like bourbon. Don't drink a lot of it, but <laughs> just clarify that. But I do prefer that instead of the like daiquiri. Like Anytime we go to a Mexican restaurant and they have lights like this, it reminds me of the Grinch, what he makes Martha May. I guess it's time for me to try the fajita. I mean, it tastes like a good fajita. The guacamole is really good too, but that's a good fajita. We are getting full, but basically ate everything. There's just a few pieces of chicken over there left, but everything was... Everything was good. Curious to see what the price will be. Okay, here is the bill. It's going to be a little bit more pricey because we both got drinks. We got queso dip. We got chicken fajitas. And um, quesadillas. The quesadilla was $5.99. I don't think that's necessarily a bad price. I think if it was about $4, $4 to $4.99, it would probably be a better price. But really, that's not that bad. But it's gonna be a little bit more pricey because of the alcoholic drinks. I mean, the drinks were almost as much as the, the two combined drinks were almost as much as the fajitas. Now that there's not as many people in here, let me do a little scan of what it looks like in here. Again, restrooms down that way. All right, now we are heading 
outside. That was our trip out to Naldo's Mexican kitchen. I didn't think it was bad. Uh -uh. There wasn't really any complaints I had. I mean, it was pricey, but again, when you get two margaritas and there's no special, that was like $14. So take yeah. $14 off, that's not too bad. Right. Um, the quesadilla, I think you did, it, it was a good quesadilla. I feel like it should have been more of like a three ninety nine quesadilla, but. Yeah, but I feel like you spent the same amount on quesadillas that weren't as good. Yeah, so. I agree. And I think maybe that's just the <laughs> going price now for quesadillas, so it was good. Cheese um, and tortilla. Yeah, exactly. Um, you had mixed feelings about the salsa cheese dip. Yeah, I mean the cheese dip was fine. I thought it was good, and the salsa wasn't bad. I just, I, uh, it was like spicier than I care yeah. for. Yeah, I am really. But it was fine. I'm really full. Really tired. Comfortable. The drink. I thought my drink was great. It tasted like a smoothie. Yeah, my drink was good too. So the drinks were good. Um, and it seemed like a pretty popular place. Like there was quite a bit of people in there. Yeah, it was full. So anyway, if you're out at the villages and you want a Mexican restaurant to try, try Naldo's. Thanks for the recommendation. Yes, thank you so much. We love our recommendations. With that being said, that does it for tonight. Thanks for watching.